हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द सीरीज ऑन मेडिकल इमरजेंसीज इन डेंटल प्रैक्टिस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वेजोवेगल सिंको देर आर सेवरल सिनोनिम्स फॉर दिस टाइप ऑफ सिंको एंड यू माइट हैव हर्ड ऑफ इट एज न्यूरोजेनिक न्यूरोकार्डियोजेनिक और न्यूरली मीडिएटेड सिंको वेसो डिप्रेसर सिंको साइकोजेनिक सिंको एट्रियल ब्रेडिकार्डिया सून एंड बिनाइन सिंपल और कॉमन फेंट सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ अंडरस्टैंडिंग द पैथोफिजियोलॉजी इट बेसिकली इन्वॉल्व अ फाइट और फ्लाइट रिस्पॉन्स दैट मे अकर ड्यू टू सेवरल प्रीडिस्पोजिंग फैक्टर्स दीज फैक्टर्स मे बी साइकोजेनिक सच एज फियर एंगजाइटी इमोशनल स्ट्रेस सडन और अनएक्सपेक्टेड पेन साइट ऑफ ब्लड और सर्जिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स सच एज सीरिंज एंड नीडल और नॉन साइकोजेनिक फैक्टर्स सच एज प्रोलॉन्ग सिटिंग इन एन अपराइट पोजिशन और स्टैंडिंग हंगर फ्रॉम फास्टिंग और मिस्ड मील्स हॉट ह्यूमिड क्राउडेड इन्वायरमेंट एंड एग्जॉशन इन रिस्पॉन्स टू दीज फैक्टर्स देर इज एक्टिवेशन ऑफ द सिंपेथेटिक डिविजन ऑफ ऑटोनॉमिक नर्वस सिस्टम एंड रिलीज ऑफ इंक्रीज अमाउंट्स ऑफ कैटिकोलामीन्स एपिनेफ्रीन एंड नॉर एपिनेफ्रीन इन टू द ब्लड this leads to a decrease in peripheral vascular resistance and there is diversion of large amount of blood into the skeletal muscles now in a normal fight or flight response there is muscle activity and the blood is pumped back to the heart from peripheral tissues however patients in a dental setting cannot run or move and remain seated in the dental chair as the dental procedures are performed this causes pooling of blood in the extremities with lesser blood returning to the heart as a result there is a relative decrease in circulating blood volume drop in arterial blood pressure and a decrease in cerebral blood flow now as the blood pressure begins to fall compensatory mechanisms are activated these include baroreceptor reflex that constrict peripheral vessels to increase the venous return to the heart and carotid and aortic arc reflexes that increase the heart rate this increases the cardiac output maintains close to normal blood pressure and ensures adequate cerebral blood flow however if the situation go unmanaged there is fatigue or decompensation of these compensatory mechanisms and development of reflex bradycardia that is slowing of heart rate to less than 50 beats per minute this is associated with a significant drop in cardiac output and fall in blood pressure to levels below those critical for maintenance of consciousness hence cerebral ischemia occurs and consciousness is lost now it is important to note here that the critical level of cerebral blood flow for maintenance of consciousness is about 30 ml of blood per 100 g of brain tissue per minute the adult human brain weighs approximately 1360 g and the normal cerebral blood flow is 50 to 55 ml per 100 g per minute hence in a normotensive individual this is equivalent to systolic blood pressure of 70 mm hg next coming to the clinical manifestations these can be grouped in three categories pre syncope syncope and post syncope the signs and symptoms in the pre syncopal phase include feeling of warmth in the neck and face pallor or ashen gray skin color cold sweat primarily on the forehead feeling bad or faint and nauseous pupillary dilation yawning hyperapnea coldness in the feet and hand disturbed vision and dizziness and an initial increase in heart rate followed by hypotension and bradycardia at later stage during syncope there is loss of consciousness irregular jerky breathing that is quite shallow and rarely perceptible respiratory arrest or apnea pupillary dilation and a death like appearance convulsive and muscular twitching of the hands legs or facial muscles bradycardia 
weak or thready pulse partial or complete airway obstruction due to generalized muscle relaxation and fecal or urinary incontinence particularly when the systolic blood pressure falls below 70 mm hg during the recovery phase the patient may present pallor nausea weakness sweating and confusion or disorientation now coming to the management of syncope it can be divided into three steps step 1 positioning step 2 assessment of circulation airway and breathing and step 3 definitive care step 1 positioning all the current dental procedures should be stopped immediately and any dental instrument left in the patient's mouth should be removed vital signs should be taken and the patient should be placed in a trendelenburg position that is a supine position with legs slightly elevated if the patient is in upright position pre syncope can lead to unconsciousness in approximately 30 seconds while in supine position pre syncope might never progress to syncope the effect on blood pressure by placing an unconscious hypotensive patient into supine position is equivalent to intravenous administration of 2 liter fluid the patient should be asked to move their feet and fingers as much as possible so as to pump the blood back to the heart step 2 assessment of circulation airway and breathing it is particularly important if there is loss of consciousness to check circulation carotid pulse is palpated a weak thready pulse is palpable in most circumstances for airway the oral cavity should be examined to rule out any blockages and the adequacy of an airway can be determined by the use of look listen feel technique a patent airway is successfully established by the head tilt chin lift procedure and breathing can be assessed by observing the chest movements and listening or feeling the exhaled air spontaneous respiration is usually evident during syncope step 3 definitive care oxygen administration at a rate of 4 to 6 liters per minute via nasal cannula or 10 liters per minute via mask is recommended blood pressure heart rate and respiratory rate should be monitored recorded and compared to the patient's preoperative baseline values to determine the severity tight clothes such as tie collars and belts that can decrease blood flow to the brain should be loosened respiratory stimulant such as aromatic ammonia is useful if the patient is hyperventilating and is slow to regain consciousness a cold towel may be placed on the forehead of a patient who is warm or blankets may be provided if the patient is feeling cold if bradycardia persists an anticholinergic such as atropine may be considered raw sugar or in the form of juice can be administered if hypoglycemia is suspected If the consciousness is not regained for more than a minute a different cause for syncope should be considered and the emergency medical system should be activated At last some of the post syncopal measures that need to be followed As the patient becomes conscious the doctor and emergency team must maintain their composure and the stimulus that precipitated the syncope should be removed from the patient's sight The patient should not undergo any further treatment after recovery for the day the precipitating event or other factors such as hunger or fear must be determined before sending the patient home the patient should not leave the dental office without a responsible adult escort preferably a family member to accompany the patient home future visits by the patient must be planned with pre operative sedation and additional anxiety reduction protocols That was all about vasovagal syncope. However, it is recommended to refer the updated and standard guidelines regularly to keep yourself up to date with the emergency protocols. In the upcoming videos, I will take on another medical emergency and its management. Till then, if you found the video helpful and informative, then do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe the channel for more videos. Also, you can download our app For more details and notes on dental and medical topics